Hello, welcome to the Mark Janot Show. The cybersecurity show is the Biofang BF UV32 Tri Band 10 Watt handheld any good. We're gonna solve that in this video. So without further ado, let's get right into it. We're going dark. So the Biofang BF UV32 is a new Tri Band handheld radio that offers some impressive features, right? But its performance is mixed based on recent reviews. Now you have the tri the pros are you have the tri band compatibility, right? Uh, you have the high power output close to the advertised 10W. It's 9W measured on high power. You have the GPS positioning and Bluetooth programming support. It has Type C charging and dual watch functionality. It has a large channel capacity, right? A thousand channels. Now here are the cons. It's not all good now. There is the poor spurious emissions on the 2M band with harmonics less than 40 dB below the fundamental. It has disappointing airband AM reception performance. The battery retention system uses a screw, which some users find inconvenient. Uh, the included belt clip pouch is considered horrible by some, you know, people. So, you know, you can weigh those options. Now, in regards to different weather conditions, how reliable is this device? Well, the UV32 has a metal body insert, which contributes to its substantial weight and ruggedness. So this metal construction suggests improved durability in harsh environments. All right. The radio's build quality is reported to be good with users noting its sturdy construction. This indicates that it may hold up in challenging weather situations. The UV32 features a large 2800 mAh battery, which provides extended operation time. This long battery life could be beneficial during prolonged outdoor use in various weather conditions. The radio's power output is consistently measured at 10 watts on both VHF and UHF band, so this high power output may help maintain communication in adverse weather conditions that could otherwise affect system strength. Now, one user mentioned using a similar Biofang model, the BFF8HP, in real world hostile conditions, suggesting that Biofang radios can perform well in challenging environments now in regards to emergency communication you know the advantages for emergency communication with the you know this specific radio is the multi-band support so the uv32 operates on uhf vhf and am bands allowing flexibility in connecting to various frequencies including NOAA weather channels for emergency alerts gps and aprs which is the built-in gps and aprs Functionality enable location tracking and sharing, which is crucial in search and rescue or disaster scenarios. We have the high power output. So with up to 10 W of power, it offers better range compared to lower power radios, which can be critical in emergencies. You have the Bluetooth programming, which allows quick programming of emergency frequencies via a mobile app, reducing setup time in urgent situations. You have the durability, so its rugged design is built to withstand demanding environments, making it suitable for outdoor or disaster use. And then you have the NOAA weather alerts, right? Provides access to real-time weather updates, ensuring preparedness during natural disasters and limitations. However, there are some constraints. There are some limitations. You have the range constraint, right? Like most handheld radios, the UV32's range is limited typically a few miles, right? Which may not suffice in remote areas without repeaters. Now, in regards to licensing requirements, operating on amateur bands requires a license through, uh, you know, even though that there are emergency exceptions apply in life-threatening situations. You have the spurious emissions. We talked about that a little bit, but you know, some users report issues with spurious emissions on certain bands, which could affect reliability and compliance with regulations. Now, the battery life, while it's decent, right? It has a 2500 mAh battery. Uh, extended emergencies may require additional power sources or spare batteries. So that's something to keep in mind as you are working with this thing. Hit that subscribe button and the like button if you, you know, if you are educated and entertained and you got what you came here for. 
hit that subscribe button and the like button and also let me know your opinion in the comment section below see you in the next video